I'm heading towards a small island that was recently discovered called Tumble Cube Island. There are there are traces of civilization that used to exist on that. Oh, what the? It just skipped by itself. My goal is to thoroughly explore Tumble Cube Island and undis and uncover not undiscover uncover the awesome loot. I will be arriving at Tumble Cube Island shortly. I can't wait to see what treasures await me. Hmm. That's right, guys. We are playing. Pokemon Quest, which is not going to be a main series. It's not going to be a series really at all. I'll probably play a little bit of recording, but I'll probably end up stopping. We'll see how much fun I have on it. I play a little bit of it, uh, but not enough to know a lot about it, or enough to know how to play it, basically. But yeah, we're going to get right into this. It's a new game actually just released, I believe, yesterday. Um, uh, so if you, have any, if you know when this game released and you know when I'm recording this, it's the day after. Okay, so we have some nice, uh, cubicle Pokemon, and Crash. Beep, beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. Hmm. My Moby, my Moby 4, the drone malf malfunctioned by Selfco. Oh, it's a Selfco product. I didn't know that. I read that earlier and it just didn't process. I brought, I, <laughs> I brought here to detect loot it is actually, is acting strange. What's wrong, Moby? Boo boo. Well, I guess I have no choice but to restart it. Beep boop. Reset complete. Please input the owner's name. The maximum name of characters is 12. Why well, did this earlier? So, guess what? I know I can fit. If I can do this right. My username. Trainer Green. Trainer Green. Yes. Good morning, Trainer Green. The new. Good morning, Trainer Green. Because it's a robot. It's a robotic voice, right? Good morning, Trainer Green. Here is the news for today. I. Oh, this is me right now. Okay. I'm not interested in the news right now. Moby, I'd rather get yeah, exploring this island. Would you go? Would you go have a look around for me first? Understood. Beginning scouting tumble cube island. Standing, stand by. I have no recording data of this island. Island, gui <laughs> island guidance will be nece Guidance will be necessary. I had to stop. For I had to stop. There appears to be some kind of Pokemon nearby that live on this island. They should be familiar with this island's landscape. Why not befriend one of them so it it can show you it can show us the way? I see. That sounds like a plan. Let's try it out. Okay. So when I did this earlier, I chose Eevee, which I I would I like Eevee and I want to get a Jolteon. And I will be playing Let's Go Eevee at some hope, uh, later on, like this year when it comes out. So hopefully he can evolve in that game. But I don't know if he can evolve in this game. From a little bit i played so far, I don't know. I haven't got really that far. But I think I'm going to go with Charmander for this one. I actually really like Charmander. It's my second best team. So we'll go with some Charmander. Char! Char! You be found it, Charmander. It seems our preparations are complete. Trainer Green... We'll head out and have a look around the island. Exhibition start. Expedition start. Pokemon and Expedition, one out of one. I don't even need to read that. But Pokemon move forward and move towards enemies on their own and attack. So in this game, you actually can't move your Pokemon like a mystery dungeon game or something like that, which kind of made me go. Yeah, but at the same time, it makes me have less uh, worries about like finding mods, so it is something. But I also said I don't really get to explore, but it's not that bad. So he's gonna move by itself. We're gonna head towards a Rattata actually, which, as you all know, is the basic first route uh, Pokemon from the original Pokemon, and they also will attack on their own, which kind of nice. And those are uh, berries or fruit, whatever uh, 
or mushrooms or whatever they are. I forget what they're called. But yeah. Uh, and we'll see. Pokemon no moves. By tapping the icon for one of the Pokemon moves, you can give the order to use that move. Okay, let's go with fire. Holy crap. Kill this mine. Because I don't want to use mine. Because I don't really need to. There we go. What well, Pokemon that more P PHGs and Rotatas? Scratch! Okay. I'm dead. Good job, Mander. A boss Rotata. That didn't really do anything. I'm guessing for his Pokemon around you instead of just by itself. Die. Rotata, Rotata. Stage cleared. And Mon will level up. They have HP attack. And I don't know if they have any abilities or natures in this game, actually. I don't think they do. Still, so, uh, it's kind of weird for a Pokemon game. But then again, I don't think they did that in Mystery Dungeon as well. Power stones are important items that give you that can give your Pokemon to make them stronger. You can get to your Pokemon to make them stronger. As you progress through stages, you can, you'll be able to get strong power gems or power stones. I don't know why I said gems. So we get we got uh, 50, which is a mighty stone for attack up plus 50, which not doesn't seem that bad, especially since uh, Scratch is a physical type move, and I don't know if that affects special attack. I really don't know. Hmm. I think I think we can end our expedition for now. I need to find a place where I can set up a base camp. Oh, look, it looks like I've found quite a, quite a nice clearing. I'll make my ba I th I'll make this my base. What about the bizarre stone I found earlier? Is there some way I could use it? When Trainer Green took a look at the stone, the Pokemon's body started to glow. To attach the Poke the power stone to get... <laughs> You got on um, your expedition to your Pokemon. I'm not doing well at reading this. Catch it. Pokemon, Pokemon on Tumble Cube Island have mysterious charms known as Poke Charms. When you put a Power Stone into into a socket on their Power Charm, it will raise the Pokemon's HP or its attack. So we gotta drag it over here, and. When the EV, when the Everstone button, when the Everstone button, you can give a Pokemon and, <laughs> with the Everstone. I, I'm terrible at reading that. I apologize. You can give your Pokemon an, an Everstone that will stop it from evolving. Oh, I don't want to do that. So as you can see, it went up when I take it. Uh, can I take it off? No, I cannot. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, but it gave it 50 more attack up here. Which isn't bad. We're gonna go back now. He has 177 power now. I don't know if that goes towards uh, special attacks as well. Looks like my Pokemon have. Looks like my Pokemon has gotten stronger. Gets us time to start exploring. We go to expeditions down here. You can start an island expedition from the dungeon icon. The goal of this game is to find precious loot that lies hidden on the uh, on the island as you progress on expedition on your expeditions. So I'm gonna click here. As you can tell, this was like rank of like power or some bonus type fighting. So, it's, so I don't know what that means. I think that uh, you get bonuses for fighting types here. But basically, this is 200 right here. You need at least uh, 200 power or something or whatever, which I do have. I forget what, I don't know what that is, but all I know is that I can go here because I have enough. 396. 194 normal attack. As you can tell up here, this is how many you have to go before you leave. This is where the boss will be at. Ooh, get screwed. Kill that Pidgey. He has no right in here. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go over here to this wild Pidgey. Oh, well, I wish I didn't waste that now. Why are you attacking a tree, man? <coughs> so the boss should appear somewhere, but I don't know where. There he goes, the boss meow. 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 Scratch. So, what this game kind of reminds me of, but it's not really because you don't get to control the movements. It's kind of like a top-down perspective, like maybe like a Pokemon Le of Le like a Legendist type, but like. It controlled by itself, you just control the attacks and when to use them. And I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of cool, but at the same time, like I feel like this game doesn't have that. I feel like this game would get pretty boring after you've beaten it once. Like you won't want to play it more than once. as one of these games. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong because I haven't played through it all. But like, maybe you would want to. But I feel like that would. I don't know, this, as of right now, I feel like there's not much on here. And plus, from what I've seen from the base, you can only have the 20 Pokemon, it looks like, before it runs out. So I'm hoping either you get more bases, or else I think you have to actually pay with real money to get more uh, uh, things for Pokemon to join in, which or for you to have more Pokemon. Which, I hope that's not the case, because it kind of sucked. It's kind of like Pokemon Go, in a way, where you'd only have, I think it's 250 Pokemon you can catch all together. And keep in your party, but you can get like a bag or something like that that would raise it by like 50 or something like that. And I hope that's not the case. Even though that's not that bad because if you want one of each Pokemon, that's fine. But I mean, for something like this, where there's at least probably around 100 different Pokemon at least, and you only can hold 20, that doesn't seem that it just doesn't seem that great. So I'm hoping you can raise it up more without using real life money. But anyways. You found some ingredients. It looks like you you could you could cook with. If you cook something, it will attract some Pokemon. You, you're all ready to start cooking now. Use the ingredients you found you found on Tumble Cube Island to cook some some dishes for Pokemon. So you want to go here. Uh, when you cook, when you cook, when you cook up some food, Pokemon that like that kind of food will come visit your camp, visit your camp. Tap on the ingredients icons to put, put that ingredients in your cooking pot. Once you fill your pot, you're ready to cook. I wonder if I can put, like, a random one in there. No? Hey, won't I put random ones? Okay. So I have to put whatever they tell me to put in there. Can I just do this? No. Man, that kind of sucks. Start cooking. The first one, I believe, it just gets two mons here, which if I'm right, it'd be a Pidgey and Rattata. Always. When, you, when your dish has finished, cooking will depend on how many times you've gotten out of your expedition uh, in their expedition so you see that number right there once i've done two expeditions it would fill up where i can open it but if you're impatient you can use uh pm tickets if you use pm tickets you can special our special items you can finish cooking the dish right away so it's basically like uh i'm trying to think of the name clash of clans where you get gems and stuff like that and here they're forcing me to use it just this time. Here are some PM tickets, tickets you can use to finish cooking the dish right away. I'm wishing you can save it, but oh well. Here we go. <laughs> ingredients, what are, when it, it's whatever ingredients you like. Favorite foods are of some of the Pokemon on Tumble Cube Islands. New dish, clothes. I mean, Rattata and Pidgey. Rattata has become your buddy. And this is all the stuff he has right here. Which is, you know... 
Congratulations, you befriended a new Pokemon. Now keep on befriending more Pokemon. You can befriend this Pidgey now. He's become your buddy. Yay. Add the Pokemon you befriended to your expedition team. Edit your teams. And here we can add these level 1 useless Pokemon onto our teams. To be fair, Pidgey's not that useless, but Rotata... I, mean, I guess he's somewhat strong, but I'm not a big Rotata fan. I'm actually getting tired of Pidgey as well, because I've seen to use him a lot of my, during my plays of the game now, which I'm tired of using. I want to use some newer Pokemon, but you know, we're different Pokemon, because they're not newer, so we'll see. Your cooking pot is is empty. What's not? <laughs> why not start another? Why not start cooking another dish before heading out on an expedition? Okay, so I gotta click on this pot right here. And it'll ask me to autofill unless I can do it normally. No, I gotta autofill. When you press the button, the uh, auto set button, your ingredients will be set randomly. That is different lots from last time, at least. Start cooking. Your ingredients will be used up when you cook. <laughs> when you cook, would you like to start cooking? Yes. And this one sent me four expedition. You guys will finish cooking after you've do after you've gone to a few expeditions. Don't forget to start making new dishes before you head out to your next expedition. Next expedition. Expedition time. This time we got more mods. We can only have three for a team. It looks like the to the total the total the total of your team's member's HP and attack is the is the your team's strength. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. At each spot where you can where you can head out on an expedition, the strength of an enemy will be the the strength of the of enemies will be displayed. This should give you an idea of your team your team's strength should be. Pokemon with the same type as the as the Pokemon with the same type as the bonus type for the place you're heading out on the on the an expedition to will have higher HP and and attack the normal normal making them stronger than they usually are okay fighting which we don't have any so let's go and now we'll have three different mods to look after which we have focus energy now and gust focus energy Rattata get him So nice not having like takedown because Eevee has takedown in this game and you basically just kept hurting yourself so it got to the point where I was at the end for a while when I kept uh, getting low HP. <laughs> Die. Okay. So every time you kill Mons, you obviously get fruits and stuff like that, stuff to cook with ingredients. It's basically how you're gonna get to this game. Oh, this was a Metapod. Last time I bet did this, it was a Kakuna. I wonder if it's the Mon you choose in terms of how that works. And then that just starts spinning. Fire spin. I didn't do anything. Focus energy. Oh God. And dead. You get that juicy XP. Because I know Metapods at the beginning of the game are pretty juicy XP. At least in a normal point where you I don't know about this. So, you know. So, we got two level 3s and a level 4. We got 69 and 68. First try for something. At this rate, you might run out of supplies. If you'd like, you can connect to the shop to get more. Yep, there's a shop. Because they want this to pay for their money. They want more money. I think. At least that's what I think that's what this means. You can buy things to help you on your expeditions on Tumble Cube Island from the Poké Market. You need special tickets 
called items called PM tickets. You can buy thi you can buy things from the Poke Market. As you receive as a service for Poke uh, for members, you can receive PM tickets on a regular basis. So I believe every single day you can get some of these. PM tickets are precious I are precious items. Don't forget to pick them up when you play. Yeah, every 22 hours. Oh, it looks like nothing. 24, 22. You'll get PM tickets. Tickets you can use right away. And bonuses. What is this? Oh, that's the additional content. Basically, me. I would have to pay for it. That's the extensions. Oh yeah, I haven't talked this much since uh, freaking I've been playing the Poya Poya Tetris and now I'm still feeling it now. I'm actually able to talk in videos now instead of concentrating all the time, which is kind of nice actually. That's it for the basics on ex of expeditions. So go, so get out there and find the loot that awaits on Tumble Cube Island. And look at that, guys. We're through the tutorial. Finally. Let's do these quests. We get some items and stuff up here. You receive items as rewards for your actives, for your activities on Tumble Cube Islands. Sometimes you get even some, you get some precious PM tickets. But we didn't. We got some of these fossils? Oh, shoot. Uh, there are some items that you can you can only receive as rewards on quests. If you get stuck during an expedition on Tomoki Island, it might be a good idea to try, to try taking on some quests. No, I don't do anymore. Here's this cooking. Places with a 69. Let's go to Pidgey. Give it a 68. And Rattata. I'll give him the 59. Why not? I have 58. Why not? This play, their attack goes up, and we actually have a little bit stronger team right there. Andrew 15 already. Basics of the string. So we get plus five PM tickets. Let's do some more uh, explorations, shall we? We're gonna be doing the 750 one of our. That's because our Pokemon strength, like 75 over it or something like that. Where it's no 65 over it. Let's go. Energy that we're gonna have fire spin because we can and gust that. You can see enemies are stronger if they're ba uh, back on the original ones. Uh, Pidgeys were actually dying almost in two hits, and that takes like three hits for my turn. It looks like death. That's the wrong page. That's not a page I wanted to use it on. Oh well. Spiro's down there. Let's take them out. Death. A Growlithe. And die, will you? There you go. I don't know. Focus Energy doesn't feel like it does something. It doesn't do anything. Like, well, I don't know. Maybe like a temporary boost in strength, this one. Okay. Die. And die. The pitchy Odo, pitchy, pitchy Odo. Go. Calm yourself. Try 
Charmander's killing you. He... Die. You're not killing my Charmander. Level up. And your level up things are getting unlocked. Oh, we got some sturdy stones finally. Ooh, critical attack hit rate. That sounds nice. We're gonna equip that on the Charmander. Everything seems to be going fine for now. The further you go out on the, on the island, the stronger the wild Pokemon get. You should collect more Power Stones and befriend more Pokemon to get stronger as you head further out. Yep. Um. I'll put this one on Rattata because I really don't care about Rattata. So I'll give him the weak one, which is time recovery, which. Eh. He'll be fine. Put some quests down. Well, not put some quests down, but go look at some. And we received some recharge. Wait, recharge your battery plus five. Wait. Hold on. Do I do I waste batteries by just playing the game, basically, where I can't play it constantly? That kind of sucks. It's like you're rid of battery when I play. I didn't know that. Don't forget to set a new... Oh, okay. Th okay, well, it looks like I can't play that one. Uh, no matter what. So that's always fun. Ugh. So I gotta learn the time to play this every single day. Or something like that. Kill them all now. Let's kill that thing. That thing. That thing. Not Spiro, but Spiro. Spiro! I can't do it right now. You're gonna die. You're not allowed to live, okay? More Pokemon up here, so that way we can take them out. So far, when I think of this game, it's not bad to play. I just don't think it would entertain me all the way through the game. Unless, like, they have more gimmicks than just this. Like, more things to do. Oh, wait, we'll see. I think this is supposed to hold, like, Pokemon fans up until Pokemon Let's Go, uh, Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee comes out. Which, I, okay, okay I guess. And death. Uh, I wish I can't wait to play it, but it looks like it's gonna be more of a casual game. It looks like it's gonna be a combination between a normal Pokemon game and, uh, Pokemon Go. So basically it's gonna be you catch Pokemon, but you don't get a battle of them in normal Pokemon. And then in, uh, then in, uh, then you can battle trainers. Basically that's how it's gonna work. And I know that in 2019 they're gonna be doing the more competitive one. So yeah. We'll see about that. Die you, and he's dead. So we'll see what happens. Mm. Mighty stones. You discovered, well. Now your Pokemon have to level 5 can get increased XP from 
Expeditions. Okay. When you defeat the boss Pokemon, a statue that looks like okay, a Pokemon was left behind. What in the world could it be? This is one of the symbols of the island. The pro prolific statue. The statue is carved in, in in the shape of a of three Rattatas, a Pokemon that can flourish wherever it is. Perhaps the statue is meant to symbolize such pros prosperity. It seems it seems exploration. Ex it seems you've explored everything there is to explore in that this area. I'll locate routes to the next area. That the game? I thought that was the game. What the hell? I think the beep 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 was the game. I was like, is that a phone going on? Anyways, it may take some time to locate. So in the meantime, I've searched the I've searched the database and information regarding the statue and found found this this would and found this would appear to do something reversed revered to in the place called the Chamber of Legends. So we get this area unlocked over here. And this area. Stand by. Route to the new area. Area detected. Let's receive that. A movement stone is a special item that can increase... A move stone is a special item that can increase the performance of certain poke of certain moves. Put this you can put this move stone in the socket connecting to a move that has the same color of the stone. So this one's a rock type or a round type, one of the two. Let's get some of these. Uh, I don't need to edit the team actually because I don't have anything else. But I need to actually edit the bonds themselves. Give this to Rattata. Oh, it's just working here. It's on Scratch. I actually like Scratch better. What is this? Their battery is full. You can't. You can't recharge it. <clears throat> I'm guessing that means we're basically stuck. Uh, doing expeditions uh, to how many they say we can do. Pokemon that want to become your buddies can come to your base every 22 hours. If you encounter a rare Pokemon during an expedition, there's a chance it might come visit your base too. Anything around here? Any rare mons? Doesn't look like it. There's why do I have a freaking? I have a boat and I'm not using that to drive around. Okay, game. Thank you, game. Well, how much do I need for this? You know what we'll do, guys. Try to open up. Yep. <coughs> I call fairy. Ultimate for fairy. Flash. The user suddenly flashes light on an enemy. Not to lower their movement speed. Okay. What kind of Pokemon are you attracted? What kind of Pokemon are attracted by cooking depends on what dish you took. 
There are various types of dishes you can cook depending on how the combination of the ingredients provide the food. You can check on the, the tremendous, tremendous, tremendous of poke, whatever, and the combinations of the ingredients in the recipe. There are some hidden recipes that are especially appealing to certain moms. It's gonna go random again. Start cooking. Throw our team slate. Get rid of the retire. But actually, while waiting, I'm gonna take the stuff off the guy. Now I can replace him now. There we go. Clefairy's a little bit better in my opinion right now. Better put Clefairy now. Put this on. Eh, yeah, let's just do this 50 for him. We'll put this on for now, it's not that big of a deal. Looks like the fairy's looking decent right now. And our th thing's gone up. Our team power. Okay, let's go here. I, this is where I haven't been now in the game. I only completed the first island, or the first area. Let's do this. Hmm. Gus, kill you. Okay. Scratch. Die, you. Okay, so they're doing well. Gloom. Gloom, gloom. Also, I just realized this is gonna go up before Poyo Poyo Texture goes up. I just gave you guys the uh, game I was done playing next. We're recording for you guys. We're, that you guys are gonna be seeing next. Yeah. Enjoy that. And you, stay. you can tell right here this will charge down and I think the fairy will come back. As long as my other mom survive. Hmm. Level 6. Critical hit damage and critical hit ratio. Not bad. Not bad at all. Clash! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see. The fairy. Blue moon first. Have these. No, thank you. Okay. 
I think I'm going to end this here, guys. I don't think I'm actually going to play any more of this. Unless you guys want it. If you want it, comment down below and I'll play more of this. I think I'm going to be done for now. And, and stop. Because I just really wanted to show this game and see how it was. Through more of it. And honestly, like, it's not bad. But I don't see myself actually wanting to play through all of it. Honestly. And, as, and, and this is supposed to be the filler why we wait for the football game coming this year. Which, honestly, I think I could really wait. Because I can play the other other Pokemon games, so you know, yeah, there's that. And if you want, even when you see me playing a Pokemon game, also don't forget to leave a comment below saying that maybe like, maybe ask, maybe tell me which Pokemon generation you want me to see. I'm thinking Gen three right now if I do one, but we'll see. Yeah, but uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, like, and don't forget to subscribe because um, I'll be doing more gaming stuff like this. Maybe some Pokemon. I already said I was going to do Puyo Puyo Tetris. I did the adventure mode on that. And that was interesting. So you might like that if you want to see that. And I've got more on the channel as well. So thanks for watching. Bye guys.